All right, I got to play this for you. This is a Presbyterian church in Iowa. Um, female pastor. No coincidence there. Giving her version of a prayer. And uh, just listen to this. O oh God of pronouns, we give praise to the Great One, the one who was identifiable as God. I am what I am, you say, the great they, the incarnate he and she, the God of trans being. Impregnating Mary, fathering God, breastfeeding God of many breasts, you, shadow, you shatter all stereotypes, making every single person male and female. Male and female, intersex, non-binary, in your image, exactly in your image. Spectrum, rainbow God, who put your promise for nonviolence in the symbol for queer love before humanity knew, because you knew who had Joseph, who could not sleep with a woman in a beautiful lady's cloak, perhaps of rainbow colors, before we knew, you knew. God of pronouns who said, you can call me he or she or they, whatever makes you feel closest to me. The great they. That's how she refers to God. Uh, the God of pronouns. Now, <clears throat> First of all, it's not a, it's actually not a coincidence that the um, that this is a female pastor saying all of this, not to suggest that the bad pastors are always female. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of a lot of a lot of bad men leading churches as well in this country and across the West and across the world. But it's also not a coincidence that the craziest and most heretical stuff usually happens at churches with female pastors. That is not a coincidence. And the reason it's not a coincidence is that churches which that have, that have already bought into feminism were destined to continue the slide into what we're seeing now. That's the connection there. And what we see there is um, what we've seen in, in many churches, again, across the West, just this is a, this is a very, uh, one, one of the more shocking examples of it, but this is God made in the image of man, rather than man made in the image of God. That's the way. She's, she, she, in this church, she is trying to remake God in her own image. In the image of what she thinks humanity is. It's a, it's a complete inversion of the actual message of the Bible. How the Bible begins. Male and female, he created them. And she even says that. There's, there's one, talk about shocking. There's one surprising moment where she says, you, you made them male and female. And you, you stop and say, well, hold on a second. You're admitting that much at least? And then she continues, and intersex, and non-binary. No, actually, um, that's not in the scripture at all. In fact, it says that male and female, he created them. There's, there are no other categories provided. And that's not just in the beginning of the Bible, that's all throughout the Bible. There are many exhortations given to men and to women, and there's never a third, there's never a time where, oh yeah, in the third category over here, here's what you should do. So we see her in real time rewriting the Bible and trying to rewrite God, remake God in her own twisted self-image. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends.